What's up sales hackers and sales managers? It's Matt Smith here, and let's talk Cracking the Sales Management Code. This is a great book by Jason Jordan. It really examines the dogma around sales. There are a lot of misconceptions because it's an art and a science. This book will help you further understand how to manipulate your sales team, how to better manage your sales team. And if you're not a manager, it'll help you better understand how to get the results that you need for your company and for yourself. The premise of the book is a focus on what can you actually control? Just like in life, too many of us focus on things we cannot control. In sales, we focus on things we cannot control as well. You cannot control revenue. Despite what your CEO tells you, you can't control revenue. You can't just snap your fingers and go grab it. You have to focus on activities and objectives and systems and training, and those things impact revenue. Of course, you can focus on delivering your TPS reports, but you cannot just flip the switch and go get revenue. Here's a visual representation of this concept. I can focus on my activities. I can know how many cold calls I'm doing, how many cold emails I'm doing, how many leads I'm generating. I can focus on those metrics. Those metrics influence my KPIs or my objectives. You know, what am I trying to do? By, by getting more leads, what am I trying to influence? What am I trying to change? And those KPIs lead to business results. So, it works up and down the stream. My metrics affect my KPIs, my KPIs affect my results, and vice versa. My results affect my KPIs, and those KPIs affect my activity metrics. Let's start with sales activities. These activities absolutely have value in managing. Both the salesperson and sales manager need to be focused on these activities. These activities influence my sales objectives. Sales objectives are metrics that help us diagnose and help us plan. They are influenced by our upstream sales activities. And then the business results are impacted by the sales objectives. The business results are great for reporting, great to tell your friends you, you doubled or tripled revenue, but the real nitty gritty management stuff is further downstream where it's sales objectives and sales activities. Let's give you an example. Okay, here's my goal. My goal is to increase revenue by 3%. To do that, I need four new customers per quarter. And to get those four new customers, I have to do 16 more prospecting calls a quarter. This is one of a thousand examples we could give you where as a sales manager, your directive is going to be number one. Your CEO is going to say, we need to increase revenue by 3%. As a sales manager or as a VP of sales, you then have to go, okay, well, what do I need to do from a sales objective standpoint to achieve that 3% goal? And then you take it one step further and say, okay, great. I think get four new customers. You can't just say to your sales team, go get four new customers. You have to actually tell them, here are the sales activities that you need to focus on that we need to do to achieve the four new customers a quarter to achieve the 3% revenue growth. To be a top tier sales hacker and sales manager, obviously you have to learn to measure and manage your sales activities. This is obvious, but not a lot of people do it to the level they should be doing it. You, you should get as granular as you can here. There's a lot of different ways to track this stuff in Pipedrive or Salesforce where you're saying, you know, how many proposals did you send? How many demos did you do? How many webinars have you executed? Get granular here. How many different types of emails? You didn't send this type of email. You didn't just send a general email. You're just tracking number of emails. You maybe can categorize your emails. I sent this many you know, pings for customers who are in the funnel. I did this many um, follow-up emails, whatever it might be. Cracking the Sales Management Code lays out five areas that we can actually manage. These are five areas of activities that, as sales managers or account executives, we actually have some level of control over. Opportunity management. Better understanding and improving multi-stage complex deals. Sit down with your reps and talk about what's in their funnel. 
Don't just focus on the bottom of funnel ops. Focus on middle of funnel and top of funnel. Too many sales managers just talk about what's about to close. Not enough talk about what's an interesting or new opportunity that is you just start talking with. Call management. This is basic. Scripts, recording calls, etc. Once again, invest in the system. You can control the system. You can understand how many mock calls you're doing a week. You can control that. You can't control if the deal is going to close or not this day. But by training your reps and having a better system around call management, that will impact revenue. Salesforce enablement, better training, better technology, better coaching, account management. How does reporting work? What are the processes? How frequently should I follow up? And territory management. Are you dividing resources effectively?